Assalamualaikum. In today's video, we will see how to uh, upload the parameter or backup from SEW Movie Drive or SEW Communication Gateway. For this purpose, you must have to have uh, Movie Tool Motion Studio software. So, I am opening Movie Tool Motion Studio software. I am creating a new project with the name uh, Upload AMIN. Upload Amin. IENST beans 2 uh, and click OK. It is now creating a project file with the name. Uh, as you can see here, this is the project file. This whole is the project file with the name upload a new beans 2. So, uh, if first of all, you must have to set the uh, network uh, properties, uh, you must have to know about your network connection either you are using copy bus or you are using copy net or any other communication source communication network go to the communication setting here i am using copy net system so i am selecting ethernet click edit here you must have to put the uh, ip subnet so my ip subnet is 192.168.1 and this is the node uh, if you want to uh, search any particular device then you must have to put here that particular address uh, search any particular device uh, then you must have to put that address here like uh, if I want to search uh, node 192 then I will put 192 here and it will only search this particular address if you don't know which address you want to uh, search or if you are taking backup of all the devices connecting uh, with this uh, subnet then you must have to put here 255 which means that it will search all the uh, node uh, from 0 to 255 so i am clicking ok and click ok now it is uh, configuring the network now here you can see the ethernet option is added now you must have to go you must have to scan the network i am scanning and now you can see here it is scanning all the devices connecting with this uh, subnet and uh, with this uh, with this network. Let this finish first. Then I will let you know how to uh, upload the backup uh, of all the drive in one file. And I also uh, will let you know uh, if uh, let you know to upload the backup file of a single drive. As you can see here, it is still searching. Like I have. Uh, uh, I have this communication gateway. This is the communication gateway, and these are SEW SEW movie drive soft, uh, movie drive. So it has searched all the devices. Now, you, what you have to do to configure uh, all the backup? Click Ethernet right mouse click and click configure. Now it is showing me all the device connected, and uh, here are the tick marks, which means that it will take backup of these all drives. So uh, I am deselecting one drive and I will let you know how to uh, upload the backup of a single drive later. So I am clicking OK. Now you can see here it is uploading all the backup of selected drive one by one in a single file. This is still communication gateway and these are these are SEW drive, SEW drive. Second communication gateway, and this these are communication drives. These are uh, these are SEW drive. Now you can see from here how many of them are completed. Two are left. One left. Now uh, you can see here it is completed. It has completed all the drives. Now uh, you can see uh, on the project window all the device is clear except this one. This has marked so which means that this drive is not configured. What does it mean? It means that this drive is not uh, configured in this file. So uh, this is because I have deselected this drive. What uh, I will do, I will take the backup of this uh, drive uh, alone. So what you have to do, you must have to 
click right mouse click on this drive and click upload option now it is asking me from where i want to save the file so i will save it as uh, i mean and click save now it is saving the file so these the, these are the two way to take the backup of the drive now i am going to my documents here you can see this is the uh, standalone backup of a single drive so upload i mean these two here this is the project file whenever you will open this project file it will show you all the configured devices which you have uh, uploaded before if you want to see see all the devices separately so it has made a separate folder for each devices and from here you can also see its uh, parameter and other properties like uh, it is showing me the version it is showing me the drive model it is if i go to the parameter it is showing me all the parameter of the drive so uh, so this backup you can use for the future use thank you